Gossam Rider YouTube, Rider here with a Japan Crate unboxing. This is going to be my second Japan Crate, the movie, the lost episode. Um, it's going to contain the ones that it took me forever to get to, which is September and October, and then November, which is the current months. My plan is for this to come out in November, and then be back on track to just one a month like normal. That will probably fail, but that's what I'm saying in this one. But instead of me going into a spiel about apologizing for these always being late, for the small amount of people that watch this series, uh, let's just go ahead and get started. Uh, the September one was actually kind of an unusual one. It was like Tony Hawk themed, because yes, I guess. I don't know, he stopped doing the Pro Skater game, so now he's doing Japan Crate. But yeah, so I thought, I thought that was an interesting, uh, interesting choice. So you got a little Tony Hawk themed pamphlet, but let's just dive right in. Um, I'm gonna go for, let's go for the drink. It's fire iced coffee. Don't know what, why the fire, is it spicy? That would be a, that would certainly be a thing to behold. It definitely smells like coffee. It just honestly just tastes kind of sweet. I'm not sure what to make of it. Like, we'll see if there's anything special in the description, but it just tastes sweet. Okay, so... I thought this was like a funnily shaped box, but it's just like squished from shipping. So it says, Ginza Rusk. They look like just little, like, honey butter biscuits of some sort, or, you know, cookies. So, let's check these. I suppose it seems like it's going to be a good thing to follow up from the coffee. Ooh, they're soft. Kind of. Oh. These are kind of like... Ooh, they taste kind of funny. Like, like a weird perfume. But, they're basically really similar to, um... In a couple boxes in a row, actually, I've gotten those little, like... You know, corn material. That's a weird way of putting it. But, you know, like corn puffs. There we go. Coated in chocolate. Like star shaped, I've gotten those like three times. It's like that, but more like a vanilla, weird honey flavor. Speaking of, holy crap, it's like the same shape. I think this is like the same exact thing, but it looks to be coconut flavored. Based on my brilliant detective work, based on the pictures. It smells coconutty. Yep, see, that's what I'm talking about, like those chocolate things. Mm hmm. And that's that, but coconut. Okay. This looks to be something orange, like like an orange parfait uh, stick. The parfait actually looks really good. It makes you want the parfait, but all I'm getting is some sort of pocky. So, ooh, it's got a quite a smell to it. Not bad, just so it definitely smells orangey. It's actually pretty good. Kind of like a orange cream wafer, which makes sense, but it's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna skip these because I've got them before and they're not interesting to try. ABC Message Cookie, they're basically like animal crackers, but in animal shape, so not only have I tried it before, but who doesn't know what animal crackers are like? Oh, you get a little pro spinner, it's like a fidget spinner skateboard with this, oh, it's kind of neat, actually. Um, I have no idea what this is, it's like a little bear, Thing it might be gum, so I'm gonna set it aside for potentially last if I remember it. This looks like it is the DIY kit, so that is going to be skipped for now because yes. All right, let's see. What is with all these? This looks like it's probably a lollipop. That I'm also going to skip. I feel like I'm skipping a lot of things, but that's because I have two to get through. But this is just a lollipop. You can tell by the image, and I can just feel around in there. But there's all kinds of this like animal imagery that initially doesn't seem to tell you what's going on. Okay, this says Fujiya Home Pie, so that should not be. Oh, this is just like a little, two little, um, little wafer type things. It was already broken off a piece, so this will be easier to try. It's kind of like a flaky pastry. That's what it tastes like. Okay, let's see. This just straight up says it's gum, so we might, sour lemon gum. We might try that last alongside whatever this is. Gums and hard candies are the hardest ones to try for this. This is honestly kind of creepy. This looks like it's going to be an onion flavored corn puff candy, but the illustration on here is honestly creeping me out. Oof. This is like one of those like meat stick ones that... It's actually not too bad. 
It almost tastes pizza flavored. Oh, speaking of the devil, these are my least favorite things to get. And it looks like it might be some sort of squash flavored or some sort of something. I don't know. But I'm just not a fan of these. They have like a pungent smell. Oh my god, it's so strong. And like, it's actually not that bad. I know I say that when I'm making a face, but it's just so strong. And the smell of most of those reminds me of like vomit. And so those are, I'm not a fan of these. I'm kind of curious of like all the people that order these, whether they do videos or not. If like there's people that just love these. I'm sure there are, but it's just, why? Marijuana, but why? Okay, this is something. Green thing is made of bobbers. Look like pea flavored or something. I apologize I've been going through kind of fast, but I don't want this video to be overly long since I'm doing three boxes. That's actually not bad. It's kind of like an almost generic flavored little like bread thing you get in a, a trail mix. Like, I feel like I can taste the pea flavor, but also not. And by pea, I do mean the vegetables. All right, it looks like there's one more thing in here. I'm just making sure. Okay, one more thing before we get to the gum or whatever. This says heart chipple. Looks like it's a barbecue flavored or a grill flavored something, possibly with garlic. So let's try that out. Oh, they're, they're like they're almost like the like maybe heart shape, but they kind of remind me of the little Tostitos scoops. Not bad. Kind of an interesting flavor. Okay. Even though these are in this box because they might be gum, I'm gonna save them for after the other box. We'll just do a quick look-see if there's anything worth noting out of this box that we didn't um, guess right away. Barbecue flavor, we got that. This one's a, a corn soup stick, that weird one that I didn't like. The lollipop's apparently a milky lollipop. Oh, the little pea things were edamame flavored. Coconut stars. Oh, that is a gum. Japanese gum. Yep. It's like drinking out of a teacup or something. I don't know. Kind of nonsense. Uh, oh, it's a mango yogurt. That little stick that I thought was like a um, um, orange flavored. And apparently that one I said was like a flaky pastry. It's supposed to be cinnamon roll. But honestly, it just tastes like flaky pastry if anyone's ever had a flaky pastry type deal. Uh, sour lemon gum. Nothing there. Onion puffs. That's exactly what those were. What's the coffee? You have to drink this ice cold or burning hot. There's no in-between. It's also mandatory to play uh, Bat of Bunner's Fire and Ice while consuming it. I feel like they tried to just make coffee more exciting. Like, I like coffee. I love coffee. Damn good coffee. Twin Peaks, you know how it is. But like, I like how it has to be cold or hot. That's just, you just described coffee. They're making it sound like they invented the gimmick of coffee is cold or hot, but that's just coffee, bro. Um, I forget if there's anything else I really wanted to check, but let's not waste time. Let's go ahead and let's let's move on to the next the next box. So, I already had to pop the lids on both of these because I needed to know which months they were. So I got a teensy spoiler, but not too bad. I didn't see what the drink was for this. Oh, here it is. This looks like a weird, like, IV bag drink. It looks like some sort of vitamin drink of some sort, lime flavored. It's very interesting looking. Oh, dear lord. Hmm. It's got a basic yet interesting flavor to it. Okay. This is kind of fun. It's a Mario Maker DIY kit, but... I usually don't touch these. What's on the floor? Oh yeah, the, the uh, something or another's on there. Okay. So, these look like they could be potato or something. I don't know. I feel like sometimes in these, in these packages, there's like obvious clues that I'm missing. That I, they look like just fries. Mm-hmm. They're, I'm like 90% sure there's some sort of potato flavor. Okay. Let's see what this is. 
also maybe potato flavored. Those kind of look like potatoes, but also not. So I'm not sure. I am not. Maybe not potato. Ooh, they taste funny. Like, at first it's just kind of like, oh, it's interesting, and then it hits you like that. Okay, I'm sort of seeing a, a bunch of savory stuff I want to go for at first. Okay, this is a popcorn. Oh my god, they've done it all. This looks like it might be soda flavored, maybe soy flavored. That might be a soy bottle, but I always comment on these videos how they seem to love this soy. They're, uh, they're soda candies, and I always get a soda candy, although I just realized I don't think I got a soda candy in that, huh? I don't think it's soy. I think it's a different kind of sauce that we'll look up, but I don't like it. It's smoky almost. And smoky flavor is very hit and miss for me. Oh, I've gotten these before. These are just kind of like a something or other flavored potato chip. It's Norishio. I don't know what that means. I'm going to look it up, but I think I've gotten this brand, but with shrimp or yeah, shrimp flavored or some sort of some sort of sea creature flavor, and they honestly weren't bad. I actually kind of dug them. This is all broken apart. But yeah, basically, Pringles. We actually have a decent handful of stuff that I want to look up. Okay, this, these are hard candies of some sort, so I'm going to save these or just look them up. But they look similar to various hard candies I've gotten before. These are just straight up great gummy candies. I've gotten these before. They kind of taste like, I think it was the last video I described that there's like two types of grape flavor and one of them tastes like artificial medicine. And this was that flavor. I still ate them though. Okay. What do we got here? Lollipop candy. I'm going to open this up because there's something weird about it, but I might save that as well. Like what? That's weird. It's lollipop on a spring. So... There doesn't seem to be anything weird about it. I like how I just weirdly licked that. And then, so that's, like, how do I make lollipops more fun? Let's put it on a spring. Oh, okay. You're, you're hired. Okay. These little balls, they look like little paintball gun ammo. Tiny, tiny paintball gun ammo or BBs, but. They're basically just little. These ones are, like, more cream-filled, like a, a white chocolate cream. But they're basically, like, M&M-esque candies in a really weird packaging. Like, I almost want to take these out in public and make it look like I'm popping a pill of some sort, but it's just like a milk strawberry thing. And these are interesting, and by interesting I mean not. They're basically just really boring sugar flavored, like, lifesavers. I mean, lifesavers is sugar, but there's like no flavor to them, it's just generic. Okay, here's a pen with what it looks like one piece stuff on it. Yep, one piece. And it's on a string, or it's a pen of some sort, I don't know. Okay, so, okay, I got three things left in this box. So this is, there's fish on it, and they got little sticks. Ha, fish sticks. So these look like they might just be, this might be gum. And I'm taking a chance here. I'm almost certain it's gum. Mm-hmm. And I'll find out for sure in a second. It's gum. Okay, this says seven stick, and it's got like a little stick with cream coming out of that. Like I knew it was sounding wrong right when I started saying it, but I still let it happen. Sorry about that, but okay. So this looks like it might be kind of a wafer type candy, which is a cream filling of some sort. Mm hmm exactly what it is. Not bad. Okay. These look like melon chews. Yeah, they're these little chewy, like, soft, soft chews that are really weird. I've never encountered a texture like them before I got these boxes, like in any candies you can get here. And it's being super annoying to open right now. There we go. That made it easier. And then we'll look up those curiosities. 
and maybe try those hard candies real quick. Okay. So yeah, they're like these little melon soft centers. So, hmm, that's not bad. Yeah, they really taste like the melon too. Like, is it a honeydew? I don't know, but like, it does a really good job of like legit replicating that flavor. Okay, cream flavored wafers. Making sometimes you feel with chocolate. Oh yeah, these little things are raw bean flavor, which is basically just like standard sugar. Um, seaweed salt. Oh, where are those uh, hard candies I was showing? I don't know where they went, but those hard candies I was like, oh, right here. They, they describe them also as like throat lozenges, which is like the third time I've gotten something that has medical use. Okay, these ones I thought were potato chips is an iconic Japanese snack, popular band Banchi snacks, blah, blah, blah. French dressing, they're light rice, okay, they're rice, apparently, so. Um, okay, the, the popcorn is a, um, is a Sakura strip flavor, why? Okay, let's see, um, there's the seaweed, I don't know, can you see the wording on this? Like, hold on. Wait for it. Just yes. Okay, I didn't want to point that out, but just I know it's not the exact spelling, but so that's uh yeah. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to check out was that drink, which is is a popular fruit flavored soda, Fanta. It's kiwi flavored. What? That's not. Is it Fanta? Oh, it is. Like you just. It's funny though. Like hold on. Oh, I'm the dumbest boy in school. But like right here, it's like, okay, there it is. It has the actual English name on it. I totally missed it. Don't you want the, want the, want the? It, it just struck me as funny because like here they don't have it in English, but in the picture they do have it in English. Anyway, so that is it for these two. I'm going to cut now in a second to the November one, which is going to be filmed on a different day. So I might be wearing a different shirt unless I remember continuity.